All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Kerbal Remote Manipulator System, which is being made by Form User Seminator. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a number of parts to build a stock alike modular robotic arms, and the current parts are very heavily based on the Canadarm system, though with more parts coming in the future. So let's jump right on into the vehicle assembly building and have a look at what we do get. I do always enjoy robotic parts mods, and I actually should mention, as I'm getting a few things set here, that it does have a dependency of Infernal Robotics, as with pretty much every robotics mod we've ever looked at, and so you will need that installed. It is also compatible with a few others, such as whole camera and raster prop monitor, uh, but the only actual dependency is Infernal Robotics. Now, most of the parts for this mod are actually going to be down here in the robotics category, but sadly not all of them. We have to start up here in coupling first, and then we'll move down the list as per usual. And the first part we have is the shuttle RMS end effector, which is what you'll attach to the arm to grab things. And it is a docking node with a light on it. If we zoom right on in, there it is. Let's actually flip it over because this is, of course, the way it should be, and that is the camera bit if you do have whole camera installed, and, of course, it has the light on top for you to use. Nice modeling on this thing. The texturing's pretty good, too. Now, the idea of this was to make them stock alike, and I think it's a little bit off from being quite stock alike, but it's pretty close. Now, the next part that we have here is the Shuttle RMS Grappler fixture, which which is what you'll attach to your satellites, etc., and is what you'll actually attach to. And it looks kind of weird with how I just put it in there, but hey, let's pop another one on top. That, that'll that surely solve the oddity issue. There we go. So this is what you'll attach to your satellites and what the main effector will actually grab onto to dock with the thing. So there we are, nice little part. Again, very nicely detailed on the model, very good. Now the next thing we have sadly isn't in payload, aerodynamic, ground, thermal, or electrical, or communication but we'll find it in utility. And in fact, we actually have all of the rest of the parts in here. Like I said, we do have the robotics category, but robotics is missing two of the things in here, uh, which are these different upper arm booms and lower arm booms. So we'll just stick to this utility tab. We'll chuck off the grappler here and start with the shuttle RMS elbow, which is the first of the actual movable robotics parts, which will use, of course, infernal robotics controls. And as with really anything in infernal robotics, you can set the min max, the speed, acceleration, all that sort of stuff, which is quite handy. Now the texturing on a lot of the robotic parts from pretty much here on is a little bit flat. I wish there was a bit more actual... I always hate using this word, but a bit more texture to the texture. You know what I mean? I mean, you may, you may not. I may just be rambling here, but it just seems a bit too flat of a color. Uh, hopefully that does get solved as uh, the mod does move forward. Now the next part we have, actually let's just stick with the robotic parts first. We then have the shoulder pitch element here, which is a shoulder piece and it controls pitch. And again, all the usual controls in here. We then also have a, the RMS shoulder, which will give you a yaw. We had, of course, pitch on the last one. Oh boy, that's not, oh yeah, that, that only likes to connect to a certain thing. But yes, I'll get to that thing in a moment. This one will, of course, give you yaw, the previous one giving you pitch. And the next thing we have is the RMS wrist, which again is a pitch part. And there we are, very nice in design, a good attachment point there for attaching a boom. We then have the shuttle RMS wrist roll, which will of course spin around and give you a little bit of roll, and it's very tiny and hard to see, but there we are. And the last part we have here is the shuttle RMS wrist yaw. So there we are, we have multiple yaw and pitch parts, this one being roll, and the elbow up here also of course being pitch. 
Now the other parts we have here are the two different bases to attach your robotic arm to. Now of course you don't have to use these, they're really meant for the interior of a shuttle cargo bay, but we do have them and oh boy we're actually going to need to zoom out for this one aren't we? They are best attached radially and like I said they're designed for inside of a shuttle bay so they're not really attaching in here correctly and we have a port and starboard version of them and they have only one attachment point as you'll see up there and over there between those two parts and they'll connect to this shoulder yaw piece quite easily so that's really where that seems to go and then of course it has these lovely little pylon bits here for you to rest the arm against once you have it built and completely folded up uh, but you don't, again, have to use them if you don't desire. In fact, the monstrosity of a ship I created that we'll test here in a moment definitely didn't use them. And, uh, well, the resting bit. I did actually, in fact, use these different bases. Now, the last two parts we have are the two booms. We have the lower boom and the upper boom. I believe I should, yep, there we go, be able to click both of them together. Now, they actually have some texture differences in them. The lower boom has either this gold one or silver, which changes the color of the camera there between those two things. And the upper arm boom has the either just blank white, a KRMS logo here, or they can go with the Canadarm logo here if you so desire, as of course being the inspiration for this whole mod. And those are all of the parts for this lovely little piece of work. Now, it is still in kind of an early stage of a lot of its development. Uh, again, like I said, some of the textures need work, but overall, they're very good functioning robotic parts, and I always do enjoy a fun robotics mod. So let's actually go out into the world and check out some, uh, oh boy, things I built, which they work, not well, but they work. <laughs> <laughs> Basically what I made here is a really, really crappy truck with a really, really crappy robotic arm that attaches to one of these standard buggies that I added onto it here, one of the little grapple fixtures. And I think I parked it in the right spot for me to just lower this arm and we'll be good. So let's actually go to our... Oh, just a horrible little craft that we built here. As you can see, I did use one of the bases and attached onto it with the shoulder yaw piece and then you know, the shoulder pitch piece, etc. And if we go into the infernal robotics controller here, we can actually, you know, move this thing around however you desire. There we go. We can move that piece up and down. We can move this one. Oh god, I need to go the other way. And as with any Infernal Robotics things, we can type in the number and then hit enter and it will go and do it on its own. And we can still control the other pieces as it's going. Hmm, which again, I think I parked it in the right spot. I... <laughs> I kinda eyeballed it there. So let's see, let's see. As it lowers down to 90 degrees, we might... We might be okay. We might be okay. <laughs> oh, oh, not quite. All right, so we're gonna have to lower it more. And I think, oh, no, no, pitch it, pitch it, pitch it back that way. And down, and I think this piece, oh, no, other way, other way, other way. I swear to you that these things actually work. I did test these docking connectors with another thing earlier. Oh, have I just completely borked it. Let's, there we go, they've connected. <laughs> oh, gaze at my horrible ineptitude. There we are, we were able to crapple it with the arm after much fussing about. But yes, yeah, so that is the Kerbal Remote Manipulator System. It functions perfectly fine. It is a good serviceable robotic arm that you can use to connect your various ships to satellites, other ships, do rescue operations, whatever it is that you so desire to create, and it is quite fun. I always do enjoy robotic part mods, so if you'd like to check this one out for yourself, which I would recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual, but that's going to be it for today. I hope you all have enjoyed, despite my 
sad attempt of attaching it. And that you do come back for the next episode. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.